Hi there, welcome to Total Body Wellness. I'm Jeanette Aguilar Harris, and this is my home studio in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Today, we are going to do a full body Pilates workout incorporating the ball. Always a little more challenging with the ball, but it's really fun and a great way to really work that full body. So grab your ball, grab your mat, and let's get started. So before we get started, I wanna make sure you have the correct size ball for your body. So when you're sitting on the ball, you want your knees to come just a little bit below your hips. So if your ball is too big, you might be way up here or sunk down, right? So we wanna make sure you have a good position on your ball so you get the most benefit. Again, knees just slightly be below your hips. So we are gonna start with uh, just a couple of deep breaths to get started. We're gonna sit up on the ball, nice and tall, sternum lifted, ears in line with your shoulders, and we're gonna inhale up. And then just exhale down. Good job, let's take the arms forward, inhale up, and then exhale down. So as we're uh, using the arms and trying to get our arms and shoulder blades warmed up, let's go ahead and breathe into the rib cage, into the back. And then as we exhale, let's zip up, not only from the front, but also from the back, from the pubic bone to your rib cage, all the way up and in the back from your sacrum to your rib cage. Actually, even the sides, right? If you were a cylinder, I'd like you to turn into an hourglass. All I'm saying is you want to stabilize that spine utilizing the transverse abdominis that goes all the way around your body. Draw it in to make yourself grow taller. The other nice thing about sitting on the ball, it's a really easy, just a couple more, inhaling up, exhale down. It's really easy to find your pelvic floor. So I really want you to find those muscles and then draw them up. It's almost as though you feel like you're hovering on the ball. Feel your feet on the floor, feel that little bit of hovering, and let's just do a couple more. Inhale up, you should feel like, wow, you're almost ready to stand up. Last one, inhale up, exhale down. Good, we're gonna go ahead and take both arms up, drop your left arm, reach your right arm up, and we're gonna do a little side stretch. Now, I don't want you to push your ball over, I just want you to side stretch. You'll feel a stretch all the way from the uh, edge of your hip all the way up to your arm, all right? This makes it a little unstable. Don't wanna do that. Inhale up, exhale, drop that right arm down, lift that left arm up. You know, any work on the ball is so great for our balance because we absolutely have to be using those abs or we might fall off, right? Let's do this again. Inhale up, exhale, just slide that arm down. Breathe into this whole side and come all the way up. Last one. Inhale, reach that left arm up. Exhale, exhale drop that right arm and side bend over. Good, nice long stretch. Let's take both arms up. Let's rotate to your left. Place your right hand across your uh, left knee and place your left hand behind your back and look up and over your left shoulder. I wouldn't go too, too far. We're just starting out, so nothing big. Inhale up, exhale, draw that belly and back up and in, look up and over. Again, we're trying not to wobble side to side on the ball. Couple more, inhale up, exhale, rotate, looking back behind you, and last one, inhale up, and exhale down, good. And let's come all the way up, drop those arms down, and we're just gonna do a little coccyx curl. So all that is is just moving the pelvis forward and back, and I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me. I do these a lot in almost all of my videos, right? This is I love to warm up that lower back, this is an awesome exercise if your back is not feeling good. Seated on the ball, we're gonna inhale, reach that tailbone back, and exhale, bring that pelvis forward. Look what I'm not doing. I'm not moving my knees. I'm just inhaling, reaching my tailbone back, 
exhaling, reaching my pubic bone forward. Again, I'm imagining my rib cage is just kind of floating above this so that I'm not collapsing forward or collapsing back, right? Floating my rib cage, just moving my pelvis, really thinking about my pelvic floor, right? Inhale back, exhale, pubic bone forward, inhale back, exhale forward, good. Just getting that lower back warmed up. So then we're gonna move on and we're gonna go side to side. So again, feet are directly out from the pelvis and we're just gonna shift. I'm just put my arms up here so you can see me. So again, I'm not moving my knees. I'm just shifting. I'm making this side shorter than this side, right? Lifting one hip up. You can just place your hands here. I just want you to see what's going on with my hips, right? Couple more, you can inhale one way, exhale the other way, always zipping up, always finding that pelvic floor, okay? So let's go on, let's draw a little circle. So we're gonna do every little exercise that we just did, side, forward, side, back. I'm gonna turn sideways again so you all can see me and I'll move my hands, right? So I'm just like a little belly dancer, I don't know. I'm not a belly dancer, so I don't know. But that feeling of just moving your pelvis around and going the other way. And again, as long as you feel like you're really feeling your feet on the floor, as well as feeling that pelvic floor engaged, so you feel like you are, you could stand up at any moment. So we've gone both directions, right? Inhaling back, exhaling forward, and hopefully you feel like a little warm, right? Whenever you wanna stop and just bounce, that's actually kind of a good thing too because it really warms up those quads. It kind of works to just have you grounded, feel your feet on the floor. So, you know, sometimes, there's a little tip. If you just wanna do a little cardio, simple, easy cardio, believe it or not, bouncing on a ball is cardio because you're using those larger muscle groups. So you will get your heart rate up. So whenever you get a chance, you know, just throw that in. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is a little tough. We are going to uh, do some ab work. Now, it's not that the movement is tough, it's that it's really easy to do too much, all right? It's easy to use our back, to use our, our legs. We just wanna use our abs, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reach my pubic, well, I'm a liar. Let me put my feet way out in front of me. Good, just like that. So we have our feet really far out in front of us, and we're gonna just reach the knees over the feet by rolling the pelvis back. So I'm just reaching my pubic bone towards my knees. So now my lower back just below my shoulder blades is on the mat and my knees are just directly over my ankles. So already you should feel like, oh my goodness, I'm already working, right? Try really hard to pull that belly in as you exhale. Do a couple of those. Just try to see if you can actually pull it in because you know the rectus abdominis wants to push up. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna inhale through your nose and then you're gonna exhale. Now, you might have seen me move like this much, right? That's all you need to do. Inhale, I'm holding my arm here, exhale. Just a little move, there's my welter. Inhale, exhale. You wanna do some abs, welter. Inhale, exhale, zipping your belly up. You should feel wobbly, you should not feel pain in your back, right? We don't want pain in your back, you should not have pain in your neck because it's only your below your shoulder blades. A couple more because these get intense pretty quickly. Inhale, exhale, just zip up, maybe you'll move. We're not trying to do that, right? That's all back and legs. It's just simple, zip, oh, killer. You might be shaking, couple more. Inhale, exhale, I'm all right, Walter. You heard me go, and he got worried about me. Exhale, pull that belly in, 
Oh my goodness, last one, exhale. And relax, so you can come back up. Oh goodness, she should be feeling that right there for sure. All right, so we are gonna move on to the saw. Okay, so saw is uh, just like saw seated on the floor, but we have, it's a little easier because we actually are up. We don't have to feel like it's hurting our back, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate our feet. Again, I'm gonna turn sideways. Separate your feet and put them a little far in front of you. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. Take the arms out to the side. We're gonna inhale. Find that rotation. Exhale, reach towards that opposite foot. So now the back arm turns under, you're still looking back, your back is rounded in the lower back. Then we're gonna stack up, come center, rotate the other direction, and then pull that belly in as you reach to your opposite little toe. Inhale, stack up, center, Side, exhale, down, reach, reach. Stack it up nice and tall, center, side, and exhale. Stack it up, come center, side. One more time, just a few, right? Exhale, down, two, three. Stack it up, I'm just turn center so you can see me this direction and exhale over looking back opposition with the arms sitting nice and tall one more set inhale exhale reach your little finger towards your toe looking back step up center side and last one exhale and stack it up center or place your hands on your shoulders. Okay, so a minute ago, we did a little bit of rotation. We did a little more rotation there. We're ready to go into our spine twist, which is just a little bit more intense than what we did before. Just like you do on the mat, right? Only this time, we're gonna put our hands on our shoulders. We're gonna inhale, rotate, and look to your left and pulse. Little gentle pulse, not a bounce. One, two, Three, inhale, reach through the top of your head, rotate to your left pulse, one, two, three. Yes, every once in a while I'll look at you, but you all are looking back, right? Trying to get your chin over your shoulder. Inhale, grow, reach up, tall, 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 exhale. If you can't put your hands on your shoulders, you're welcome to take your arms out and do it you know, it's actually a little harder when the arms are out. Exhale, one, two, three. You can even put them on your lap, right? And pulse one. That is probably the last strenuous, but you still want to get your chest up. Okay, let's get down on the floor. So the next exercise we're going to do is some extension. Uh, there's two ways of doing this. You can either put your feet up against a wall just to help you a little bit more with support, or you can tuck your toes underneath. It's pretty simple, but the balance is really what we're thinking of. So we're gonna come up onto the ball, and again, I could be up against a wall, or I can just tuck my toes underneath like this. The one thing I wanna make sure I do is I don't bend my knees, right? I wanna have really strong legs, so I'm gonna really reach through my heels. My hands are in front of the ball. My elbows are kind of still on the ball, right? And we're just gonna drop the chin. Yep, just drop your nose towards the ball. Then you're gonna lift your eyes up. Now, I don't want this to be about your head. I want you now to lift your chest up, trying to keep your ears in line with the shoulder. I'm pressing the ball towards my feet, and then I exhale down. Still reaching through the legs. Inhale, eyes up. My pelvic floor is engaged. My glutes are tight. I'm pressing the ball down. As I press the ball down, I feel nice extension in my upper back. And then 
I exhale down. So I'm working the back of my arms. I'm working my glutes, my butt, my belly. Inhale, exhale, pull your belly in, lift your chest, squeeze your butt, press the bar in, deep breath in, exhale down. Now I understand some people have a hard time coming up that high, so don't worry about it. Just come up a little bit. You could just come up this high, push the ball back, lengthen. Good job, one more time. Inhale, eyes up. Exhale, press down, pull. You should feel this in the back of your arms, your legs, your belly, your upper back. Deep breath in. Exhale, I'm a layer. Let's do one more, okay? Uh, straight legs, inhale, eyes up. Exhale, press the arms down, lift your chest, pull your belly and lengthen your neck. Find your pelvic floor, lift and relax. Good job. Nice, nice job. For our next extension exercise, you are a board on a rock. We're just gonna try to keep your body as long and strong as possible. So you're gonna roll out and place your pelvis on the ball. So go out onto the ball so that your ball is below your pelvis. Um, hands are directly underneath your shoulder. Legs are not like that. They're long and strong. We're gonna incorporate our triceps into this. We're gonna bend the elbows, lift the legs as our head goes down, and then come back to straight. Now be careful that this doesn't happen, all right? We're not pushing the ball back. The ball stays still. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, legs go up, exhale up. Triceps, bend back, exhale up. So you're getting some tricep. Nice long body, keep going. Inhale down, exhale up. Last two, inhale, exhale, work for the arms as well as the back. Now we're gonna stay up and we're gonna beat those legs together. Just in and out, apart together, apart together, and you can add some swimming. Not fast, right? The slower the better. We don't want that ball going all over the place. It's nice and strong, open and close, and swim. Good job. Go ahead and just relax back and let your body kind of hang over that ball. Good job going on. So that was great. So now we're going to move on to a little bit of uh, a little uh, more ab work. It also involves extension. Um, the thing about this one is you want to be careful about your lower back. So you could place the ball underneath your pelvis, underneath your thighs, your shins, or your ankles. Wherever you place it is up to you. The lower on your body that the ball is, the harder the work is, okay? So keep that in mind. You could start out on the pelvis and then work your way down to the ankles, okay? So you're gonna start really far back and you're going to walk yourself out to wherever you want the ball to be, all right? So right now, I've got it on underneath my thighs. Kind of a, uh, oh, beginning intermediate place, okay? Position, maybe more beginning position. It's just below my pelvis on my thighs. I'm gonna inhale as I roll the ball back, moving my shoulders away from my hands, and then I'm gonna exhale, pull my belly in, and bring my shoulders back over my hands, okay? So I want you to find your pelvic floor, squeeze your butt, make sure your legs are active, and exhale come forward. Nice job. So I put the ball down a little lower, uh, just so you can see another uh, vantage point. So I'm going to inhale back, exhale, pull my belly in. So this gets a little bit more challenging in the abs because I have to really think about my abs to pull the ball forward. So again, you can start on your pelvis where we were before, or I was a little below the pelvis. You can even start further up. Exhale, or you can even put this all the way on your ankles. Okay, so either way, it's gonna be hard. Okay, you just wanna challenge yourself to your level. Let's do two more. Inhale, exhale, pull your belly and squeeze your butt. And last one, inhale, 
exhale, squeeze your belly. Good job. So I'm just gonna pull my belly in and give myself a little stretch. Totally a great way for you to stretch, just be careful. Those are tricky, great job. We're gonna go down now onto the floor and we're gonna place the ball underneath our heels. So go ahead and just lie down and we wanna place the ball underneath the heels. So we don't be too far in, right? Because we want a nice long spine, just kind of a chair position. Now again, like many of the other exercises, we're not trying to move the ball. In a minute we are, but for this particular one, we're not. So palms up, shoulders down, major hamstrings. Now, let me just tell you, when you go up, the ball likes to wiggle wobble. Sometimes we don't want it to. So if you notice that you're rolling to the right, push down more on your left foot. If you're rolling to the left, push down on your right foot, okay? So that just means your, your, your weight is not even. So here we go, we're gonna inhale for nothing. We're gonna exhale, reach the pubic bone up and go into a pelvic lift. I like to put the toes down just to get a little deeper into the hamstring and then roll. Down. So if you got a little cramp, that's really understandable. Just let the ball go out for a second, get done with a cramp and then come back, okay? It's pretty common. So here we go, tailbone down, nice long spine, inhale, exhale, reach the pubic bone up over the knee and lift the pelvis. Toes down, that gets you deeper into that hamstring and then roll down. So um, I do wanna tell you, I am turning to look at you. When you do this, ideally I would love it if you would just listen to me and look to the ceiling because I don't think it's super safe on the neck to be turning your head. I know, I'm doing it because I want to look at you, but you guys don't have to. So here we go, inhale, exhale. If you want, go straight up, right? If your back has any kind of fusion or you have scoliosis and you, need to, you just want to be careful, go straight up. You don't have to roll up. You can go straight up straight down two more inhale exhale whatever you want straight or curl squeeze the butt feel the hamstrings and down notice i'm not going way up on my neck right i'm just staying on my shoulder blades last one we're going to stay up inhale exhale up now we're going to go ahead and extend the legs and then exhale pull the belly and come back now notice i'm not dropping my pelvis Inhale, exhale, pull the belly in. The pelvis is staying still. Major hamstrings. Inhale, exhale, last two. Inhale, exhale, and last one. Inhale, and exhale. Oh my goodness, relax. Major hamstrings. Just let your legs relax on the ball and just relax. It feels so good just to wiggle wobble and release that lower back. Nice job. You know, if you want to, we could place the heel on the ball, take the opposite knee, place the heel above the knee, and just stretch that knee out. It's a nice little figure four stretch that we allow the ball to help us with. And again, 30 seconds to a minute always, if you do this on your, note, on your own. Such a great stretch for back here and also in that SI area, that uh, piriformis stretch. So here we go, chair, place the other heel. So notice, I'm not just letting this leg kind of sickle. I'm gonna flex the foot so there's a line from the toe to the knee, and then I'm gonna push back just a little. And then if I want to, I can even pull the ball in more let it roll in more to get a deeper stretch on my opposite leg, okay? Nice job. And relax. Once again, just hang out. Always nice to give yourself a little bit of a break. Good job. Great job, amazing. You all did amazing. Working with a ball is so incredible, a lot of work, and there's so many more exercises, so please come back because I will do some more work with the ball. So there you go, 
Be very careful when you're using that ball. Take care of your lower back. And if you learned something, if you enjoyed this, please hit subscribe and please share this video. Thanks so much, everybody, and I will see you next time.